What's up, Savages? Josh Brisbane with SavageSyndicateGroup.com. I want to teach you guys one way to keep your family safe when you're out and about. One way to do that is something I use with my family, I've been using it for years, is a safe word. It sounds basic, it sounds, you know, like everybody should know it, nobody uses it. Have a safe word with your family, and not only use that safe word, but practice the plan that you should implement when you say the safe word. So for me and my family, we have a safe word, watermelon. When I say watermelon, my son and my wife know what to do. They know the actions to take and they know where to go, like step one, step two, step three, if something happens, right? I'm gonna be the protector. I'm gonna step up and do what I have to do. They need to know what to do afterwards or during, right? And then afterwards, everything is calmed down. We're back out, we're back into green, let's say, or yellow. Then we use the safe word to calm down. So in our case, it's pineapple. So if you ever hear me yell watermelon, you're out and about with me, you, you hear watermelon, you see my family act, it might be a good time to start reacting as well. But get a safe word with your family. Not only get a safe word, but practice and run drills on what you do when you say that safe word. So your whole family knows what to do in case you need to use that safe word. There's different levels of that safe word as well. Watermelon, and then just keep an eye on something and happening, or watermelon and you have to act. But your whole family knows that once you say watermelon, or in my case, watermelon, you know what to do. So choose your safe word, practice it, go over it, rehearse it, and stay safe, stay savage, stay hard to kill.